Oh, Jesus Christ. I zoned out again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm looking for something and oh, oh God, it's time to stream already. I'm here. <clears throat> Hi everyone. How are you doing? <clears throat> We're going to play every story game that I'm behind right now. I also just found this really old picture of me. I was going to tweet it out for my, uh, my, my stream announcement. If you guys want to see, it's a really old picture of me. <laughs> It's just kind of fun to see the comparisons. I think this was from, like, had to be 2018 or something like that. Because so I was just looking at the cameras like, wow, I've changed. <laughs> I've changed quite a bit. It's like, what, 2018? 2017? 2018 to what year is it now? 2024. Oh. Uh, hang on. I send you guys. Here. Look at this. What's going on today? Wait, that's just a zero. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nice, Link. There you go. Chat, give me a break. I just... I didn't wake up, but it's been about an hour. <laughs> the sheer difference in photos is pretty amazing, isn't it? Pretty crazy. Hang on, I gotta post this on... Wait, no, I already posted something on YouTube, so I can't. I can't post something on YouTube. I just did. Why is Eminem playing? Did you know I like Eminem? <laughs> I do. Is it surprising? Are you allowed to be thirsty in chat? Of course you can. Damn, the estrogen, estrogen was that strong. Huh, yeah. I guess it was. Is it really? I've always liked dubstep and rap and trance and electronic music togepi. I'm surprised that was like surprising. All my friends like music that, you know, have lyrics and have deep meaning and they're like melodies and are sound nice. I'm just like, nah, give me the hard shit. <laughs> give me the, give me the, give me the crazy vulgar stuff. I'm down. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I was looking at the mirror to this, like, wow, look at me. I'm so like, oh, gay. <laughs> oh, surprised with the Eminem himself, not the rap. Oh, really? Oh, Eminem's awesome. I love him. Which is weird because considering some of the music that he has, <laughs> I'm like, a banger is a banger, man. <laughs> if it sound good, I'm like, I'm down. I'm down for it. So happy to see me thriving. I'm happy that I'm alive and still doing dumb shit on the internet. It was a journey, that's for sure. Hmm. Hang on, I'm posting this on my... Can I add another picture? I can. We're happy you're alive. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I went through therapy. I've had thoughts before. You know what I'm implying. Thankfully, I never acted upon them, but yeah. My main type of music nowadays is either VG music or electronic jazz. Too. There was... Electro jazz was a phase of mine for a while, too. I really like that stuff. Oh my god, is that a Rin stream? It sure is. And I'm trying to. Why is this not working? There we go. The electro swing years were fun. They sure were. I mean, I should look it up. We have Spotify now. Everything's on there. 
should try to get people some money. <laughs> Like this. What is this song? What is this? Yes. <clears throat> this is my mewing music. I hate how good I am at that now. <laughs> wow. Hey, Maddie. Thank you for 14 months. How you doing? Appreciate it. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. I'm way too good at mewing now. <laughs> it's easy. You just go like... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Oh, hey, Trulu. <laughs> I think it helps because I'm losing weight at the same time, so more of my facial features are showing through my skin, I guess. So I'm starting to help a bit. Like, if I'm looking at that old picture of mine, my face is just like, sh not like shrunk, but it's definitely curved, like, Smaller. <laughs> Stepping out a bit. Okay. Have fun. Everyone start mewing again. <laughs> oh, I need to commission like a mewing emote later. I really should. Oh. Oh. All right. So today. I'm stuck behind a star rail quest, so I need to do that. Then I might jump over to Zenless and do the main quest because I can't do my hangouts because it says I'm stuck. So I can't do my hangouts until we get out of there. So we're just going to blast through some stories today. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sure is, well, I'm locked behind something right now and it won't let me out. It was like some story thing with March that I clicked and I haven't been able to get out of it. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Also, I made a poll on uh, on YouTube. Is it an event story? I have no idea what it was. It's something. I started a poll on YouTube and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I like, which of these games are y'all playing the most right now? And out of 820 people on here, most of you guys said Genshin. Which is surprising considering like the people that speak up are the ones that saying they're not playing this anymore. But I guess the silent people are still playing Genshin Impact. Right? Withering Ways is the lowest one on here. So, hmm, I wasn't ever interested in that one. I'm surprised Star Rail is up here too, but I shouldn't be. Interesting. Wuwa, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I want to try Wuwa, but not on stream, right? Just, just to play. I have a problem of wanting to always stream my content, though. It's hard to, hard to not do that. Wuwa is the loudest people. Yeah, they want it to be better, though. I don't blame them. They want the game to be good. They want it to be better than Genshin and everything. They want their cut of the pie right now, and I get it. I get it, and I think that's fair. Right? It would be great to see games compete with Genshin at the right level. I don't know if Wu was going to do that, though. It had so many Wu trolls, really? Crazy. I didn't watch. I didn't stay up for that. Anyway. All right. We're going to go through this. Try and get this stuff out of the way for me. Then I can hop with other things. I don't know. Did anyone do the story quest in this yet? Is it long? How long is the new story in Star Rail? Mobile game more. It's gonna be interesting, yeah. We're short only fifty, but I really like it. They had a cute cosplayer. Still doing it right now. Wow. Four ish hours. Right. Okay, we'll see that now for another day. Position, Miss March. Let's get this. My God, it's Yenching. 
I'm not good at acting all master like. Would be cosplaying Wu soon? Me to teach you swordplay? Probably I'll not. Back any secrets. I generally like the cosplay games I like. <laughs> not to say anything was wrong with Wuwa. Oh, thank you so much, masters. Oh, oh, wait. Does this mean our training is only officially starting right now? After all, we need to watch you practice for a few. Yeah, I got thrown into this. Like, who? Are. Who are you? So, how'd I do, Master? You're definitely talented, Miss March. Oh, hey, what'd they do to are. my boy Yenching? Did you hear that? He's supposed to be a These tall two old man. Masters just called me a swordplay genius. Why is everyone staring outside of the screen here? It looks kind of creepy. God, don't look away. I don't like that. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> okay. Uh. Indeed, that's our march. Oh, just wait until I go back. Everyone's going to be so wowed by my new skills. Swordplay requires rigorous training. Before we start, Miss March, you need to find a clear reason to keep you motivated while you train. Wow, she's so baby. It have to be this character huge, but it needs to be clear. In other words, even though you didn't exactly choose to be our apprentice, you still need to take the initiative. Ellen was my bartender process. video. No, Ellen is sixteen. I don't want her to be my bartender. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> she asked me why I started training at such a young age. Why? It's like I Diona being a bartender. Get so, out. For our first lesson, I'd like to ask Fuck you, you Yun Lee, why? <laughs> March, why do you wield your sword? Why do I wield my sword? I wield my sword to take down my enemies. I mean, what other reason is there? I also questioned that sword master about why she uses her sword, and she said to vanquish my enemies, nothing more. Miss March? You gave a similar response, which shows you've got potential. Uh, you just want to defeat your enemies, you can stick to your bow. The best way to take down your enemy is with a blaster gun. I heard a hero say something like that in an immersion. He also mentioned that sword training can push a person's physical abilities to their oh ultimate God. limit. Still yap for no reason. Seems like you've seen your fair share of immersion oh. this March. But if you want my opinion, if your goal is self-improvement, you'll feel just as accomplished even if you put down the sword and go back to your bow. Oh, come on. Don't listen to his empty talk. Why is she such a baby? Who oh. is this? Now I'm curious to hear what Master Yun Lee has to say. Let me ask you something, March. Do you have any specific goals for learning swordplay? Like achieving a certain ranking in the war dance or... Maybe you want to defeat someone, like Yan Qing, or me. Who do I want to defeat? Him? Don Hong? Himeko? Or Mr. Yang? If you can't think of anyone specific, why not- I don't know what's going on! Like, how many opponents do you want to defeat at once with a sword? It locked- I was just clicking things! Oh, it shouldn't lock me in this! Ten? It's like you're locked in now. I'm like, Oops. no, I don't want to be. That just slipped out. It's actually another line from an immersion. Hmm. Yeah, I really like them. So what? <laughs> I think I figured out what's most. Who is this baby? <laughs> could it possibly be immersion about swordmasters? <laughs> Why is she so small? Hey, now that you mention it. That actually makes sense. I'm super interested in Sienjo immersia and novels. You think I read, chat? I don't read. I just click. So I want to be a sword master too. See? Sounds like you developed a stereotype about heroes. It doesn't matter. Everyone has Why is she so small? A sword is Yun Lee? Oh, is she in HR3 as well? Well, that's definitely a good reason to keep you motivated. Is she part of the Seven training. Swords? Uh, now that you've both given your approval, I have another small request. 
I want to perform a tea ceremony to honor you as my masters. Remember, you'll need to tap the table a few times with your fingers. Lin Jiao Yu Su Mei, Zheng Wan Shi, Zheng Wan Ru, Cheng Ling Shuang, Mai Fei Ma, Qin Sui. No, I don't see no Yun Li anywhere. Your VA is Navia? Yeah, I can hear it. It's throwing me off. Play along? <laughs> Let's just stop wasting time. Just treat us to some milk tea. And then we can start our real swordplay training, okay? Uh, yeah! All right, let's go to the Sleepless Earl. <sighs> okay. I'm here. Why am I awesome? Where am I? Oh my god. <laughs> I can leave now. I was stuck here. I couldn't do many things. Like, I missed... Oh, okay. Thank God I can pick these all up. Okay. Alright. Now I can use my... Okay, let me try her out. Who... Why are you so small? Where are your shoes? Why are you running around with bare feet? Why are you pigeon-toed? Where are your shoes? Why does she have big sword? She is small. <laughs> You are small. Intercepting sword technique. Clara Pro Max. Let's go. I'm asking the wrong que what question am I asking? Why did it start with her feet? <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, God. We're in trouble now. <laughs> what are you made of? Small baby girl with big sword. sword the enemy attacks in the next turn. Use ultimate now so that a powerful counter can be launched upon being attacked. I'll melt you all down. Commencing pacification. <laughs> to Earth, it descends with might. Can we stop the feed, please? <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. <laughs> A thousand wonders to raise fight as one. This game, yeah. right on time. Strike. What is she? Severing mountains. What's her element? Yeah. Shit. She's physical destruction? Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's a companion mission I still need to do. Okay. All right. Why the feet? Why feet? Chat, why the feet? Same kid. Why did we gotta zoom in on the feet every time? Who who decided this? Chat, did you decide this? Why not? Tell me why first. We know people get weird about feet. <laughs> uh. Which is worse, Zenless or this game when it comes to like really exposing weird Niche attractions. <laughs> ZZZ for sure. Oh. oh. <laughs> Where are the frick Tower of Fantasy and Snowbreaker doing? Fair enough. 
Uh, I don't even know who I'm farming for right now. I guess I'll just go do what I've been doing. Oh my god. Using the switch option between can switch between finale and normal maps. Interesting. Okay. Okay, the quest is like four hours, you said? Okay, we won't do that then. I will just go farm my my relics and then we will go do zenless so i don't have anyone new and i'm not paying on this game anymore i'm free to play on this game now i can just wait for i don't know who i want to get <clears throat> we will continue to wait until next character that makes me go crazy like seeing kafka see my wife Receive divinity. Characters that make me go Ooga. Exactly. Boom. Will there be anyone else like that? <laughs> Stand still. Kafka is so mommy, she is hundred percent mommy. Time to say bye. Boom. Wow, is my hair color really turning into that? <laughs> it actually is. Crazy. Why am I turning into my own wife? What's happening, chat? What is happening to me? Time to say bye. Be right back. Stand still. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Blue. Repay. There. <laughs> oh, I'll keep that one. Oh, I'll keep that one too. Not that one. Like my coat. Time to say bye. See? Boom. The game I play the least, <laughs> still cosplays from, gets E6 Kafka S5. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I have like three of her jackets now. It's kind of weird. Time to say <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> Receive divinity. Oh. The dead return. Oh, good old Otto. Oh, so last night, chat, I taught another friend of mine to play mahjong. And he got Stand into still. he picked it up pretty quickly. Still a couple things to learn, but it's pretty good. So maybe we'll see him play Mahjong some more. I should play it some more on stream too. Oh did he? Yeah, he did. He picked it up quite a bit. Time to He's a bit of a gambler. Like real life Mahjong, Mahjong Soul. I mean Mahjong Soul, Stand obviously. <laughs> Which can translate the real life. I don't know, I don't Time live near most of my friends. So all of it has to be online. Mahjong Soul's just reachy Mahjong anyway. Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> <clears throat> Stand still. I don't even know what I want. I want more speed stuff. This is like the <laughs> emblem set of this game. <laughs> it's 
need to get rid of all this standing trailblaze power. <clears throat> Didn't hurt. Time to say bye. Boom. Mm. What else is, who else is playing Star Rail right now? He's all in here. What's the hot Time new game people bye. are playing these days, chat? What's like the trending game? Is it Zenless? Receive to gonna try and get Emily's full arm tomorrow? The oh right, return. yeah. Ah, oh, C4. That's C4 Navia. <laughs> <laughs> DTI is trending. What's DTI? Stand still. Dress to impress. Oh yeah, I saw that. There's like this meme I saw, like this video of someone playing it online. It was really funny. <laughs> I think it was this dude that was playing it, and he kept saying Yaru Growl or something. I think that was the right game. Queso, <laughs> is that the guy? It was pretty hard. Yeah, the clip is really good. <laughs> Time to say bye. The Giaru guy. Yeah. <laughs> is this given Giaru? <laughs> Stand still. Man, it's funny and keeps it real and better than a ton of Delulu streamers. What's a Delulu streamer? Time to say bye. The chat's like, you, Rin, you're a Delulu. This is so slay. Slay Yin. Queso. Is that how you say his name? Queso? I've never seen this guy before. See? Andrew said, I'm Delulu. Damn. Hurts my soul. I am a little Delulu, though, I guess. Stand still. I think I'm a popular streamer. I'm not. I'm just some person on the internet. I don't really have any merits or anything. Receive divinity. Repay. The dead return. Come on. I don't even know what I'm looking for. No, probably not that one. Time to say bye. Boom. Oh! To keep it pretty real? Some people would argue that. They would say, I'm being fake. No parasocial from me? People are parasocial Time with me. A lot of people are actually. And that gets weird. Don't do that. Yeah, there's lots of people who are parasocial with me. <laughs> I'm just like, stop. That's enough. It's, it's the thing. Like, it's probably because I see it and you guys don't really see it. Because generally, like, parasocial stuff happens privately. Or in, like, spaces you guys wouldn't normally go to look, like, comments on, like, old videos or something like that as one. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, did I use it all? I'll hold on to my 300 there. I don't even know what I need it for. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Well, I'll do the story on like Thursday, I guess. I should give people time. I don't know if anyone's even playing this game anymore. Tingyun is like ding, 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 ding. Yes. All right, free to play. I won't buy the battle pass in this game anymore. What is in the battle pass? You don't... Oh, you get these? I don't even use these. I don't need them. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Free to play on Star Rail. That's okay. I have my wife. Fei Xiao showed up. I saw her. She looks okay. You want a whale in Star Rail? I mean, you got your Firefly, right? <laughs> So why not? I'm just building the characters I have. I need to build a Pela next. Oh. Sina, let's work on that right now. Where's Pela? What do you need? Okay, we'll go get that next time. Oh, hold right up. Oh, right. Yeah, she's out right now. 
What does she want? Yeah, I know, game. You don't have to tell me. I, I haven't been away that long. You want this? Guard of Withering Snow? Okay. I need to farm more of those. God damn. Oh, I got a speed one here. Speed, effect hit rate. Oh, I don't have that. Yeah, I know. Funny how Hoho and Argenti's VAs are both the VAs that joined me on stream that one time to do their streamily signing. Now they're gone. Now I'm like, don't let any VAs go on my stream anymore because something bad is going to happen to them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is an aware moment. Yeah, I saw that. I was a little sad. Obviously, with the new VAs that have come out now, uh, one of them's Megan Shipman. This is a friend of mine. She voices Ho Ho now. Megan was in the Love Live community with me back in the day, and we were guests together at Idol Fest. So, like, give her, give her a shot. She's cool. I like her. I don't know the new guy though, but I saw Adam uh, vouch for the new guy at least as well. Right, so. And there's probably something else going on. I don't know much about what's happening in the space right now, so... Because everyone's being quiet, so I guess that this would just, you know, be respectful. Give people a chance. Unless more stories come out, I don't know what's going on, but yeah. And Tail has, yeah, a completely different VA, too. Why do you shoot your gun like this? Megan did good job voicing Whoa, that's good. Talon or Warburton? He's Patrick Warburton's son? Oh, really? He voiced the Laxman in Sumeru who sounds like Kronk. Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay. He's shooting like an Olympic shooter. Oh, I got Jades. Is that enough for a pull? I'll give a shot for one Yun Li. Since I didn't get Jade. I do have enough for a 10. Let's see. Nothing. We got my other wife. Cool. I got my other wife! Hell yeah. Okay. Wait, where was I? How close was I, actually? Ten. Fifty. Oh. That's right, I got Japard. You bastard, Japard. You son of a bitch. <laughs> that little rat showed us up again. He's E5. <laughs> he stole my Jade. Be nice to he stole Jade from me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one more to go. He's preventing me from having more women, that man. Okay, we'll come back to Star Rail later in the week. We'll do the... The... The Yunli quest, I guess. So, we'll give you guys time. It sounds like some of you didn't finish it yet. Okay, we'll hop over to Zenless right now, then. <clears throat> oh, Japard stealing my wife? Can't believe this. Grace, Sniffa, you know what would be worse, Togepi, if you did, like, Zhiyuan Sniffa, because then we'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you did, Samplex already did, okay. <laughs> Samplex did it, damn. Shake my head. SMH. You finish chapters, they need more story with a Lycon. Lycon? Is it Lycon or Lycon? I can't remember. You love your Wolfman. Wolfman! Is 
It's Lycon. Okay. Lycon. Lycon. Lycon! I've never seen that name. What's his origin? Does that name have an origin from anything? Like Condi is nuts. Damn it. Damn it. Like Cantro? Is that real? <laughs> like Cantro? I don't know how to say that word. Is it a werewolf? Oh! How about a cup of joe? Oh! Can make life sweetness all that makes the more sense. Satisfying. Hang on. Whenever you feel lost, you can I need awaiting further instructions. Stuff for you, Soldier Eleven. Ready? I'm building up Fire Sword Woman because. I'm a filthy, filthy woman like her. I mean, it's not filthy, but I do simp very hard for women. <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with me? Chat. <laughs> Let me die. You're gay. I know. Fuck. God. <laughs> Awaiting further instructions. Greetings. What can I get for you? I was looking for the burn tactical chip. That's the one I want, right? Yeah. I need more of those. You think I a rat girl, Jane Doe? I still haven't seen her yet. What does she look like? Oh, it's Jaws Corn is Frankenstein Reed as a ghost puppet here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Watch the program. Okay, let's bring it up. Rin Taicho reacts to things on stream again. And it sounds like Suzy Young. Uh oh. That bodes not well for me. <laughs> I think she is. I think she mentioned that already. Didn't Jane Doe's voice actor already get revealed? They kind of revealed them in like a weird way. Uh, Zenless 1 version 1.1 1. 1. 1 teaser. Okay. Oh, it's Yao Yao's. Oh, it's Kelsey. I'm gonna go bug Kelsey later. You're like, Kelsey, my chat is shrimping hard for Jane Doe right now. <laughs> I'll go tell her later. The target of our operation is the Mountain Lions, a militant group that believes in brutality and is known for its involvement in Rat girl. crimes. One of the new faces we should keep a close eye on is Jane. Don't tell me you see him as a father figure. Ripped tights? Oh, Nails? Wait. We'll see about that. Whoa, that is an ass. I saw that. <laughs> oh yeah, she's very Yelan. Oh, she's kind of cool. Now would be an ideal chance for a surprise strike. Oh, we got a dog boy, I think. It's a lot of police. Yo, the music though, holy shit. Chingy Jane Doe and Seth Lowell, okay. The cop bang boo. <laughs> Nice. And we get a free pull, probably over across like a week. And then one of those, yeah. Oh, we can 
can fight this guy now. Cool. Okay. What the? It's just a new game. What the? Interesting. Oh, we have selfie camera now. <laughs> the music though is going hard. Like actually so good. Oh, who's she? She's kind of cute. There's the cop bang boo again. Nice. Not bad. Okay, okay, Rat Girl didn't grab me as hard as you guys did, but maybe later it might... I don't know, her ass might just go across my screen again, I'd be like, oh! But who knows. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Yanagi. About her aspirins, but her thighs. I don't really try it. They can mush a melon. We will see. We will see. We will see. CQC and fighting with tails is always a dub for you. Oh shit! Let's go. Thank you, dog. Power crap, Ju Yun's ass. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want ramen now. Damn, what are you doing later, King Yo? <laughs> I shouldn't. I probably, I really shouldn't. Been eating out too much. <clears throat> as much as I want to, I shouldn't. Just did a grocery run yesterday too, so. Oh. Instant ramen, different story. Yes, not a bad idea. To me, I don't have to clean the roof unless, unless I like feel like stream or something. You clean the roof? Are you cleaning the roof? You're under a mission. One of these days, I'll remember what. Are wait? Are these all? Oh my god, they had it. When did they have that? Okay, that helps. Okay, that's done. Now I have to go like straight back into the story now because that's where I am locked out currently. That was always there. Streamer doesn't read chat. I never read. You think I read? Never. Not once. She doesn't read. When will she learn? This is bizarre. I finished that already. I don't even know what this is, so I should probably get that done. Oh yeah, and this needs to be done too. Okay. Alright. I need to head to the ballet twins. Why does this keep what do you want? Okay, thank you. You can go here. Right, there we go. Ugh. You guys can hear me from here, right? Is that okay? Just kind of lean back a bit. Hello! Mr. Lycon. These robot legs. Why is he sticking out his hips like that? Hmm, are you the proxy known as Bathan? Yep, that's me. Master Proxy, we at Victoria Housekeeping are honored to make your acquaintance. As a part and esteemed guest of Victoria Housekeeping, we will make every effort to ensure your hollow journey is comfortable and safe. 
Everyone in chat is barking at me on small. <laughs> Thanks, you know where Eos is? <clears throat> Rina is currently accompanying your companion, Eos. It has come to my attention that Master Eos is feeling uncomfortable in this moist environment. Rina was, has kindly carried out a deep circuit massage to alleviate fatigue. You find them near the sunken courtyard. Corrin has been looking forward to meeting you ever since you saved her. Yeah, I know, I don't like the word moist. If it's okay with you, could I convince you to stay and chat with her for a while? Uh, that's what I'm here for. As the leader of Victoria Housekeeping Company, let me express my gratitude to you for realizing one of our employees' dreams. Lycone is taller than Ben? I can see that. But Ben is wider than Lycone, and that's more important. Is there anything else you would like to know? I can't think of anything right now. Come find me at your convenience, should you have the need. I ain't got heels on. Yeah, that's cheating. You can't count the heel height. Oh. Hey, Trulu. Got a chest. Oh, there's the gamer. I still haven't seen her trailer yet. Hang on, we gotta. I actually still have not seen the Ellen trailer yet. What is her character about? What do you guys mean she's like a gamer? No, I haven't. I really haven't. It's so good. Where is it? Ellen character teaser? Is that it? It's like three minutes long. This one? It's got like 14 million views on it. Oh, demo? Should I? I'll do both. Same. This is me when I wake up. Ellen, you have to join the track team this semester. Yeah, didn't you break the school's record for the relay race in last year's sports meet? Uh, but that's too sweaty. I can go watch when it's on, though. Wanna join the drama club, then? We're doing the musical The Maid of the Sea, and there's a role that would be perfect for you. Musical? Singing in front of people? No thanks. Any jellyfish with no lines? <laughs> hey! The guys next door have been keeping low-key lately. You did something, right? Hmm? Not me. Yeah, right! Just join the fight club already! Please, have mercy. Popular as always, Ellen. Oh, yeah. So there's this new restaurant. You want to study there after school? Hmm. Studying on the first day back. That's not like you. Ah, uh, uh, Ellen! All right, we're gonna gossip. Oh. Uh, I can't today. Why not? <sighs> Hey, Master, here's your heavenly blue heart bubble burst drink. The protection targets at table seven? Got it. <laughs> Hello? Good afternoon, Master. Here's your order. Would you like a touch of magic to enhance the flavor? Uh, no, thanks. I'm just waiting. Have a great day, Master. Huh? Bringing you lots of love. Look oh, carefully, he's coming around here. I'll check over there. What are they doing? Over there! Don't let him get away. One, two, over by the staff corridor. three, four, five. Wait! Six. I could have been out studying with my friends today. Hey, out of the way! What's this maid doing here? Move aside, not talk! Oh, you're the ones responsible for my overturn. What the fuck? That's crazy. Okay. I can see the appeal. I can see it. I see. What, her demo now? Where is she? 
That was, there it is. <laughs> she has to sit in the chair sideways. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Can I watch her song after this? There's a song? This song we're listening to? The EP? because she does part-time work. Oh, I get it. Okay. That's a good pun. <clears throat> okay. I did not expect this from Ellen. No, I didn't see this at all. Interesting. Okay. I get it, but she's not for me. <laughs> she's okay. She's cute. She's pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Where is her EP? She's just a girl, yeah. She seems pretty cool. She's got the zoomies. Oh, there it is.
What the fuck? People are horny over this character? She's just a kid! Let her just live! God, people are so weird! Why can't we just have wholesome things in this game? Oh man. The fuck? Okay, that's good. I'm glad. She's literally like, no, like the people I see on my timeline and stuff get weird about her. I'm like, I'm like, whatever, typical anime game. Now that I saw that, like, she literally is just a kid. She goes to school and she's just like, whatever, man. Like, I vibe with that a lot. Holy moly. <laughs> Damn, she's cool. I like her. That's not what I expected at all. She's just, she exists. That's it, <laughs> right? And that's it, and that's good enough. Don't tell me your faith in. What, is that surprising? <clears throat> well, a little. I expect to be working with someone gloomy. But the sight of you makes me feel much better. Anyway, I'm Ellen. Victoria Housekeeping Company is honored to be of service to you. Please. Uh, please. Ugh, I've forgotten the rest, but you get the gist of it. The honor is mine. A little kick Barbatos. Well, if you have any questions, you can speak to the boss, Arena. They should be able to help you. Huh? You need anything else? Not at all. Get some rest. Okay, see ya. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I have her too. Maybe I should probably have leveled her up. Time for some joke here. Maybe. I'll think about it. A nice element character would be nice. Corin! Arena! Eos! What are you doing? Bill, you want to help repair Eos? I'm presuming you're the guide. It's nice to meet you. I'm Alexandria Sebastian, but you can call me Irina. Alexandrina. 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 calls Eos Master Eos. <laughs> That's right. Rina has never met a legendary bamboo like a Master Eos that can sync up with the guide and travel to and from the hollows. You go to Subway, it's just full of coomers and gooners. Yeah, that's gross. What the fuck? And then, 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 then. Yep, Master Eos is amazing! Eos, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Yeah, I know. It's actually all thanks to Belle. Dear guide, I'm truly touched that you and your brother gave Eos such a warm home after it lost its master. How do you know? Oops! Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I was just really moved by how much Master Eos cares about you two and couldn't help but share my feelings. Hope you don't mind. Seems like Rena has tricked me into saying something. <laughs> Please don't worry, dear guide. Your companion Eos is a loyal friend. I think there's more to you than meets the eye, but Master Eos has never thought to reveal your secrets. And after talking with Eos, I'm convicted... No, I'm convinced that Faithen is an excellent business partner. I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you, Eos. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about? I'm okay for now. Okay. Eos... Master Eos looks to be in good shape. Looks like we can go to Valley Twins as planned. I'm counting on you for the rest of our journey, Master Guide. Eos lore? So his brain doesn't shut off when we sync up with him? That's cool. Oh wait, hang on. There's a chest right there. Give me that. Wait. Why? You look familiar. Don't you work in my building? Or are you just like the same girl? <laughs> oh my god, it's Corrin. You best I meet a master proxy. It's great to finally meet you. Well, it's technically not the first time. It's great to meet you. Please, uh... Don't be nervous, Corrin. Uh, sorry. Invest I made master proxy. It's great to meet you again today. I was practicing for this just now, but... Now look at me. Sorry, I'm not actually an investigator. <laughs> Could Eos be from the Sandwich Web event? The what? No, Master Proxy, please don't say that. Now that I think about it, it was a misunderstanding on my part. You never said you were an investigator. I am a little curious, though. Why would someone as capable as you want to become a proxy? <clears throat> it's a secret. Oh, sorry, I think I missed something I shouldn't have. 
Uh, anyway, I don't know how to thank you for saving me before. It really is an honor to work with you now. Is it okay if I keep talking with you? Sure. So, what should we talk about? <laughs> Let's leave it here for now. I'm happy to have this chance to talk with you, Master Proxy. You didn't say anything. Look after me while we're in the hollow. Okay. This moment, your phone starts ringing. Is it my brother? How are things, Belle? It is. Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? Good timing. Yeah, I just met everyone. Sounds like you're getting along fine with everyone. That's good. We need to find Rain as soon as possible. You should hurry back and get ready for the hollow. Oh, okay. Oh, we just leave Eos here to just chill and then we go. Wait, I can't go. Just let me hit the map. Okay. Oh, who parked this here like this? Who did that? I didn't do that. But this moment in the Yanis quarter on the helipad on top of a public security building. And the, the others are so slow. If they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. Ah, they're coming out. They're coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the defendant in this case, Charles Perlman, arrived at the helipad escorted by authorities. Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. Hmm. Huh. Fools. A real surprise is yet to come. Come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. <laughs> hit the fan? <laughs> Young lady, you've no idea how horrible this city can get. <laughs> Just you wait. Whatever tricks you have up your sleeve, I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Boss! Great. You guys finally made it. <sighs> I'm beat. You're running for so long. How come you look fine, Billy? <laughs> the respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. It boosts energy efficiency during workouts. Hmm? Oh no. I can't switch back to intake mode! I told you not to use that cheap black market junk. Alright, cut it out. Does it really matter if Billy can't breathe? The airship is small anyway, and the air quality isn't great. What's wrong, Anby? Something bothering you? I was just thinking. We left Faith into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? Nico a new one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belongs to their master, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service and won't want to work with us again. But don't be silly, Ambi. The cunning hairs are first class, I'll have you know. Besides, we have a relationship with Faithen. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. Love this girl failure. Uh, Proxy, you there? Hmm? I'm oh, just letting you know, Billy and the others have made it for the airship and we're about to take off. Well, I want to apologize. Really sorry for earlier today. I agreed to go look for Rain with you, but ended up leaving it to someone else. Nicole, you're apologizing to me? You get threatened? Is that the case? Give me the signal. No, no, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I suddenly realized we've known each other for so long. And although there have been some ups and downs, it's been a pleasure working with you. Hey, you don't want to jinx anything. Cool. why do you feel like you're going to trust me? You don't want to jinx anything? Are you that nervous about going to court? No, not at all. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, I've been really grateful to you. I definitely pay you when we get back. Damn. That'd be got to her. Please don't fire me. Please, I need work. Same, I get it. I get Nicole. I understand. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hello, Wise. Nicole just thanked us in a DM she just sent. Sounds a little strange to me. Is everything okay with her over in court? You see some piggies flying in the sky? <laughs> well, let's wait for them to get back and ask. As for Nicole's promise to repay us, I'm not going to hold my breath. Bell, Victoria Housekeeping just contacted us. They're saying they are ready to leave. From now on, we should also shift our focus back to Ballet Twins. Okay. Oh. Where am I? What? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, you're shaking. How long is this part? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sending dance. Hang on, I will get a drink before we start. I need my Coke Zero, man. I'm hooked. Ah. All right. Probably two hours. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Oh, and I get the whole house? Cool. Oh, I can't switch them around, though. Damn. All right. I just need to get out of this quest so I can work on my other things. Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination? Hmm. Sounds good, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear Guide. Would you be so kind as to look at this map of the ballet twins? Jeez, this whole team is insanely <laughs> bad. A hand-drawn blueprint provided by Victory Housekeeping Co. That clearly on the structure of the roof. Lycan was the one that drew it. <laughs> as you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A. According to our carrot, we'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. I'll lead the way, everyone. Let's go. We are at your command. He's got that whole Kakashi thing Entry going on too, chat. Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though I've been here before. Got his whole one eye covered. 
Based on our past experiences, let's start heading toward the lights. Let's get going, Master Proxy. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh! Oh, there so he is. These guys are here again. Remain calm. Let's continue heading towards the lights. We're getting close, Master Proxy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Get out of here. It's not the brightest, but it still drove them away. It's safe to proceed now. What's up ahead? I don't like these dark room puzzles. It appears we've reached the heart of Tower A. You must pass through this door to enter the atrium. The area at the back used to be accessible only to VIPs. We should look around for the verification device to open the door. Oh, that looks like it. Is this the verification device? Oh. Why can't they just have one? more What's this room Let's see okay the switch is on the other side let's not waste our energy here oh there's another one Get that. Let's try to keep our distance. Oh, was there a ghosty in there? Oh, he was in there. Distance. You little rat. There we go. Okay, let's see. Not that room. This room, right? Yes. Here we go. <clears throat> I don't like dark room puzzles, chat. You make me have to like think. Holy moly! Whoa! He's got hair sticking out the top of his shirt too. Why does the Victoria household have three five or three S ranks? <laughs> Cunning Hairs only has Nekamata and she wasn't even part of them originally. she has like a whole split on the side of her long skirt <laughs> like there's no way they're getting away with just a long skirt character <laughs> there's gotta be something else <laughs> i didn't even noticed that before <laughs> of 
Corn even feels like a S rank too. She's really strong. My cone's really fun though so far. All the kicking. Freaking Sanji, man. Sanji. Sanji's been many things. <laughs> oh my god. Neat. Oh. Why is the light flickering all of a sudden? Hmm. What a pain. We can finally open the door. It feels like rich people enjoy making things complicated. <laughs> hmm. Precisely why I find this job exhausting. The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. Hmm. Oh. Let's try to keep our distance. Oh, he's in here. Help. You suck now. You can't move. Oh, Let's try never mind. To our distance. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Can I go around that way? Oh wait, there's a switch there. The I switch see. Switch is on the other side. Let's not waste okay. our energy here. It's them again. Oh my god. Bell, hang in there. We're getting close. Holy. Watch out everyone. Master, security system access interface detected. Please wait. Connection at 30%. Synchronizing infrared camera view. Connection at 60%. For starting camera flash. Camera flash. No wonder they disappeared. Hmm. Very speed it up. Okay. Connection at 100%. System takeover completed. I can see everything now since we have that infrared camera. Master, you can call this new feature night vision mode. In this mode, you can move your field of view via the camera. While you're moving, the camera flash can keep enemies at bay. You're a godsend, fairy. Bell, try moving around. Fun. Okay. They're gone. This feature sure is handy. Another door? Let's go investigate. Whoa. Hazy shadow looms before you. Seems like it can only be discerned using the night vision mode. He's giving up a disorder unlike the others. Master Proxy, judging by this guest's body language, it has no ill intent. It wants to thank us for bringing peace to this area. The little shadow flickered as if responding to Lycone's words. Looks like our judgment was correct. Wow. It's sailing now. Loading night vision mode return program. Progress 99%. 100%. Loading complete. Let's return to EOS for now. We oh, neat. Okay. Try using night vision mode. Oh, I see. Okay. Bro, can you open the door? 
What do you guys think of the TV puzzles with all the new stuff they keep adding? Huh? The lights are flickering again. Like them? Hmm. They're certainly interesting. Oh. goes back to that room can get tiring sometimes I can see that yeah a little bit I can open this door I feel like if they let me zoomed out and see more of the field like I don't like it this close zoomed up they zoomed it out just a little bit more I think I'd be happy Fairy repeats herself a bit too much. Hmm. Avoid damaging the facilities while eliminating ethereals. Uh, that reminds me, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, Corin. He's only giving verbal warnings. He won't deduct your salary. Oh, that's... Whoa! Holy moly. With this power? Could have had an inspection to look up what the tile effects are instead of looking up in the menu. Hmm. Wonder if they will fix that in 1.1. like Metal Gear, one of the stages in Metal Gear. <laughs> Rising, that is. Sundowner, that's the one truly, exactly. up this dog <laughs> no not my bang boo rest a bit while I calculate the next route. The surrounding lights suddenly flicker intensely. Is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, is that so? <laughs> it's happened a few times. 
Looks like the rumors might be true. Hmm? What rumors? Oh, you haven't heard, Proxy? <coughs> Alan! What? Was I not supposed to say anything? Boss's mission brief was so long I didn't read it. But whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the Proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. Take care of it? Uh, what's that mean? Ellen, Corin, Keep talking like that and you're going to give people the wrong idea about Victoria Housekeeping. Dear Guide, allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the ballet twins? I've heard it mentioned once or twice. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now, if those visitors still refuse to leave, the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to harvest the souls of their visitors. It's an old story, but... Recently, someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. Our master believed letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. Hmm. So that's the real reason you're here. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers. But at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly close. Since finding this rain is our priority, to avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. Why did the music cut out like that? <clears throat> I move? Okay. Hang on. The music is very loud. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's better. I hear myself think sometimes. Seeing all the characters is easy with eye patches, we realize HSR has no character's eye patches. Yeah. Still some distance away. Will the lights here manage to last until then? A power outage would make this a huge pain. We better hurry. Ooh. Oh no. The lights are. Hang in there. We'll reach the atrium soon. <clears throat> Always thought he lost an eye. I thought his eyes were just shut. <laughs> you know, just typical anime character. Closed eyes. What's going on here? It feels like the flickering's getting worse. Oh, not the ghosties. We're in the final stretch now, Master Proxy. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, my little dude can get rid of him. That's right. How did I forget that? <laughs> can little dude turn these on? No, you can't. Okay. 
Nice. I think in ZZZ, there's like a mix of like advanced tech, but also like some tech that they went back to because of the hollow. This is just safer to use. Look at that, guys. you dead die oh my god why you got so much health holy moly the lights are flickering faster let's hurry everyone all right you can rely on us to protect you guys want to be the bang boo in this situation <laughs> do you want to be held oh the door shut unfortunately we are a step too late the automated partition has completely closed It's a maid's duty to help our guests. You shouldn't look so upset. Yeah, do you know how to open the door? Any bright ideas on how to open the door, gang? Door there gang. Be a manual switch installed on the partition. One moment, please. Allow me to take a look. No need to bother, Rena. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. Oh. I'm sure you could, but it'd be better not to act hastily right now. Affirmative. Master's judgment is correct. As the only structure connecting the two buildings, the atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. After some investigating, I have located the switch on the other side of the corridor. It appears we currently lack the means to get through. I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through. Is that it? We good here? Nice. I just saw a Jane Doe emote, and I'm not adding it. <laughs> it's just her whole ass. Oh, 7TV, why are you like this? Can't believe we rushed over and couldn't pass through the atrium because of a power outage. Maybe you know why the building power is out. Can't be because they didn't pay the electric bill, could it? But after witnessing what happened to Bell and Victoria housekeeping, I suddenly started worrying about a power outage at home. So I paid my bill a month in advance. Say thank you, fairy. No! Oh my god. No. 
I have, I have, I have, I'm going to stay true to my code basket. We're not adding that one. I'm giving your points back. That is one of the emotes I won't add. Not that kind of emote. I heard the weird face ones, but not that. No, basket loser points. They got refunded. You don't lose anything. But I won't add an emote like that. No. <laughs> Victoria Housekeeping handles things professionally. And since they're on their employee's property, they should be able to uncover some leads. What was it? Here we go. Ferry has obtained lots of new data in the building's hollow and is currently analyzing it. It must be useful. Bell, you should take a little break. No breaks. I want to keep working. Nope. I will not add an emote like that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Aquacam? Oh, it's Aquacam. Okay. It's like, who's that? Time for rest. Well, now you see the jiggle physics. Yeah, I do. Very closely. It sure bounces. Despite lying in bed, your head is filled with thoughts of the Bally Twins and Rain. What's up, Belle? Can't sleep? As I thought, you're still awake. Could hear you tossing and turning from downstairs. Is our house soundproofing really that bad? Who told us to use the cheapest floorboards? No wonder we've prepared to be gone for a long time. Wait, no wonder we've prepared to be gone for a long time. Relax, Belle. Just let Victoria Housekeeping handle the ballet twins. They're the best agents we've ever worked with. <gasps> Don't you need some rest too? There's too much new data on the building, causing the HDD to occasionally freeze while Fairy analyzes it. Analyzes it. I'll make some adjustments. By the way, I've put some new videotapes on the shelves. Check them out later if you're interested. But for now, let's just close our eyes and get some rest. I'm feeling a little sleepy now. That's good. I'll head back downstairs then. Good night. Oh, wise. The Coleta agent story added now. Oh. I want to do the Grace one. The Iron Maiden or whatever it's called. <clears throat> Close your eyes, you can hear the sound of Wise typing on the keyboard downstairs. As always, Wise is typing with such intensity, like playing a musical instrument. Listening to the sound makes you feel reassured. After a good night's sleep, you feel rejuvenated. Does it sound like this? Oh god, I kept typing. <laughs> I kept affecting the game. I have a heavy keyboard. Who are you? Charlotte? Ms. Manager, have you noticed anybody acting suspicious around here? If you do, please let me know about it. What's happening? I've been tackling, tracking a suspect and have found some traces of him nearby, but this guy is a real chameleon, though I haven't been able to pin anyone down specifically. Since you're familiar with the residents on this street, can you help me keep an eye out and tell me if there are any sus people around you haven't seen before? I see. Great, thank you so much for your help. If you see anybody sus, please don't act on your own. Just come back immediately and tell me. I'll put out an APD to all nearby officers to set up blockades and apprehend that guy. Who are you, Charlotte? Why are you in here? Nostalgia girl wants a video. What does she want? She found some old photos of Grandpa while cleaning and got curious. The old... Oh, this is the... One we messed up on. You guys said get retro or something, but it wasn't that one. I don't think it was retro. It was something else. The older, the better, she said. Or was it retro? You can filter the movies? Oh, I can. Wait, what does she want again? You help me find something like that. I want to watch more films are from the era to see what things were like when Grandpa was growing up. Okay. Is there something like history? No. Documentary. It's a high level retro movie. By some of the family that raised both. Retro 3? Fictional. You don't want fictional. That doesn't make sense. 
Uh, that's the only level three one we have. Wait, sorry. There we go. Aren't documentaries kind of old? No, that wouldn't work either. Is it? Is it retro? It's the only one I can think of too. Eh, whatever. Maybe something we don't have yet. For some reason, I feel like trying in time while holding something. Let me compare. The picture on the cover really does look so in the background on the photo. Oh, okay, it's the right one. Got it. Who is she? We did it! Good job, Bangboo18. You did a good job. He did it, not me. There you are, Belle. Ask about the Ballet Twins. You want to know if Victoria contacted me? I was just about to pay you a visit. Lycone like just called and said he has an idea on how to solve the power outage. Now that you're here, let's make that call and get the details. Okay. We called the wolf. Master Proxy, thank you for your call. Have you found out the reason for the blackouts? Though it is just speculation at this point, I believe so. I reviewed the blueprints for the Ballet Twins and discovered the building's power supply solution is quite sound. It can prevent large-scale power outages. What's more, there are independent power stations underneath the building, which is why it was able to maintain its power supply even after it was engulfed by the hollow. So it does have a separate power supply system. Wait, in that case, the reason for the blackout must be an issue with the power supply below the building. That is the logical conclusion. But it is not possible to determine the exact cause of the power failure from the building plans alone. Fortunately, the maintenance file contains solutions in case of power failure. Both buildings of the Ballet Twins have their own separate central control rooms and emergency generator rooms. Not only can these identify the cause of the malfunction, but they can also restore power to the buildings by switching them over to the backup power system. Then our next goal is clear. <clears throat> Looks like our next goal is clear. I shall send you the locations of the central control rooms and the generator rooms. Victoria Housekeeping is ready to depart at your behest. Okay. Off we go. How many more of this one is there? <clears throat> what, I'm stuck to these two? <gasps> That's it. Not even the shark? According to our previous investigation, we must complete the following steps to restore power. First, investigate the cause of the power outage at the control room. If the issue cannot be easily fixed, we must switch the building's power supply mode to the backup system. Therefore, we must split into oh, two groups. I see. One to operate the central control room, while the other team activates the backup ether generator at its room. Operating the building's electrical circuits in the control room might involve some complex procedures. I believe Sir Lycon would be the best suited to the task. As for the generator room, the main task is to simply move the generators and raw ether materials. If it's physical labor like moving things, I can help. Moving stuff or having to mess around with circuits. Tough choice. One strains the body, the other strains the mind. <laughs> nah, I want the generator room. Being grouped with Corin means I won't have to mind my manners. <coughs> Ellen. <laughs> Despite the somewhat uncouth rationale, it's actually a sensible plan, considering the balance of combat strength between the two teams. Balance of combat strength? So who's really the strongest in Victoria housekeeping? I'll stay with you, Sir Lycon. Very well. Everyone, move out. Damn, mom and dad are hanging out. Okay. Wait for us in the generator room. All right? Yeah. They let their kids. All right, kids, you guys go do the hard labor. Please wait up. Me and mom are just going to hang out over here. <laughs> the central control room is on the left. We should head out as well. Let's go, Bell. Where do I go? Oh, I go this way. 
I see. Whoa. It's kinda dark in here. Huh? Ow! What's going on? What are you doing here? Ow! What is that? A bear? <laughs> Five little dolls, one slipped away. Lost his path back, alone it roamed, and looked everywhere, no friends to guide its way. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else a little creeped out? <laughs> oh, wow. one that was chasing us earlier. Not you again. Go away. Oh, I'm gonna juke him. Can't catch me. Fuck. Hang on. <laughs> See if there's anything else around here. Four little dolls, one fell behind. Gold and silver, shiny and fine. Greed took hold, and it met its end. What the fuck? What was that? Creepy. Ooh, scary game. Oh shit, not you again. Man, we juked him. Oh, three little dolls, one hid in a shack. Hiding in the shack, safe and secure it seemed. Not only its bones remain, now only its bones remain, withered in the dark. Bro. I'd scare you. I'm gonna poop in my pants. <laughs> oh shit! Uh oh. Okay, I juked him. You idiot! Couldn't even catch me. Oh, there's three of them now. <laughs> Two little dolls. One loves the brawl. Too clever by half. It outsmarted itself. A joke by fate. A deadly rival sprawled. Can I juke all of them? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got. Hell yeah, we got out of there. Woo! Okay. Nice. Not that I needed that. One. Oh shit! One little doll. One little doll. Good and evil, virtue and sin. It looked back in its tears. There's no turning back. A journey one faces. A one-way track. <laughs> Flashlight. Um, get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, and got out of here. There's our ball. Oh, one more doll. Seven little dolls, five holding hands. A metal box zooms past, swift like the wind. Two dolls left behind, away from their friends. A different voice comes out of the doll. That Elu monster can't get through the central control room. Even supply storeroom on the left. Oh wait, he's talking. The fractured recording stops, leaving the silence to envelop the surroundings once more. Everyone, the central control room is up ahead. But there seems to be a storeroom with supplies on the left. Let's go there. Why wouldn't we want to go there, Lycone? All this 
fancy oh today rescue operations for the ballet are reaching their final stages the rescue squad found traces of five people being trapped near the control room but did not find any survive experts speculate that these survivors became trapped in the building while trying to use an elevator to escape the group carried many high valuable items and emergency supplies however the disaster compromised the elevator's load-bearing capacity ultimately leading to tragedy experts have also discovered incomplete footprints of two different pairs of dancing shoes on the edge of the elevator doors maybe they belong to the dancer sisters what an unfortunate accident this is it's fucked up that's fucked <laughs> These are dead people items. Hmm. Master, we have reached the vicinity of the central control room. I really can't see anything with the blackout. Huh? Wait a minute. Oh, there's a dude there. What's he doing? He's mad. Watch out, Master Proxy. Oh, you saw us. Get him. We should go help Lycon. I can imagine the little bang boo running in. Trying to help. Uh oh, there he is. There's dad. Hello, dad. We woke up dad and he still had his bondage gear on. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Oh, the butler. The butler boo. What did he set a frying pan? Is that what he just did? He launches a pancake? That's sick. You cannot stop me. As you will. Look at Ghost Girl. <laughs> She's got the Stella hair color again. <laughs> the pancake is so good. Ghost Mahjong Adult Stella, yeah. I didn't expect the central control room to be invaded by ethereals. Sir Lycon, is the equipment all right? The backup power lights on the console are still on. I shall begin an inspection at once. Lycon <laughs> starts working a few minutes later. Hmm? Strange. What is... Did the console malfunction? My apologies. I seem to have caused a misunderstanding. I was talking to myself just now. Actually, I have good news. The central control room is functioning normally. As long as the emergency generator room is operational, power will be restored promptly. There's just one thing that concerns me. From the information here, it does not appear that the underground power station is malfunctioning. Hmm. So what caused the blackout then? It's unclear. There is another central control room in Tower B. Perhaps the power went out because of something there. However, we'll only know 
once we go through the atrium. Master Proxy, please guide Ellen and Corrin to the generator room and complete the preparations needed there. Wait, do I have to go down there now? Did they just throw my guy down there, like, really far? Allow me to switch the power supply to backup mode. Reconnected to the building security system. Night vision Whoa. reactivated. Allow us to escort you over. Just come to me when you're ready to go. Oh, they do literally Let's throw us across. Ellen when you're ready. <laughs> okay. What happens if I click this? Nothing. Crazy oh. night vision mode. My bro, Time let me in. All the eyes of this building again. Why are there some good ghosts and some bad ghosts? Successful. Opening valve. Is this just a room with money? Sets. Come. Are you ready? Don't worry, dear guide. You can come back any time afterward. Okay. <laughs> it's us. Let's go. What the fuck? Whoa! We're here! <laughs> Smell you later! If I switch all the red ones and get something? Okay. Uh, Master Proxy, you're back! Do I get a ball? Such a boring wait. Come on, we'll talk on the way. Should I go back? Lord and I have made some discoveries, like... L like how the generator room is actually pretty close. That's terrific. Let's head there now. Just Denny's? Okay, Denny's not too important right now. Oh my god, Ellen! Okay, that's not too important then. We want the ball. Give me my ball. Ball! Is there a ball over here? Oh, this is back at the main room. She doesn't know. I mean, now. Right now, I'm more concerned about the ball. That's what I want. Denny's later. I've already run out of Denny's once. I'm like, damn, I need Denny's. <laughs> hey, Kaishin. There's my ball. An anti corruption generator. In good condition, but it seems to be missing something important. Hmm. There's an empty space. Just like other generators, it just its dashboard has no error display whatsoever. After conducting a simple inspection, I found that the energy module is missing. So this empty space is where the fuel goes. It looks like it wasn't just my imagination. Several of the fuel cells in the generator show slight scratches from being forcibly removed. Master, there is a spatial fissure in the elevator ahead. High ether activity reaction detected in the connected space. Hmm. Maybe the ether fuel is stored on the other side of the fissure. Corin, Ellen, I'll leave the ethereals in the elevator to you. Whoop. All right, who do I control? Ellen and Corin now? It's the shark. I don't think I've ever played shark. Can't remember if I have. Materials. Let's make this short. Wait, now I remember. I did it during the beta and the demo. Don't I have her? Yeah, but I don't play her. I play Ben and everyone else, remember? I'll take over, Colin. <laughs> okay. Oh, the 
this is even more crowded than Harry is in this movie. Really? Oh, you like Alan's classmate? I'm okay. Okay. Better dodge. Oh. You know what? I'm surprised there hasn't been many made characters yet in Hoyoverse other than like Rita in Honkai. Can't even think of anyone else other than Ellen and these guys here now. Am I missing anyone? Noelle? Oh yeah, she's a maid technically. I keep thinking of her as a knight. I forget she's a maid half the time because she's like kicking ass. Is there anyone else in Genshin? Go on, Alicia. Is Alicia a maid? Identifying return route. This place is way darker than the rest of the building. Is that ether fuel? I'll take care of moving the fuel. You're so reliable. To Randall's friend, Rita. Yeah. I'll take care of navigation. Maids that ow to find a way through. Forgot about Rita? <gasps> Dudu's wife? Can't forget Rita now, can we? Not Rita. Sandrone? Well, I technically haven't met her yet. I guess all the Catherines, too. Ow! Toma, I guess, yeah. What else is around here? Oh. Want my ball, man. Leave this field to me. Hey, Bell, let's lend a hand. Returning Fisher located. Let's hurry back and get that generator running again. You got all the ball. Is there anything else around here? Let's see. To make sure I'm not missing anything. That's a short room. Okay. Let's get the fuel on the generator. That one there. Great. The generator's indication lights are on now. Giant Ruin Guard. The Giant Ruin Guard looks like a butler, too. All that effort wasn't for nothing after I feel like a suit and everything. Oh. Big TV. All right. Great job. Good work, everyone. Bell, let's contact the control room. Contact my cone. Ah, wonderful. You've made contact. How's the situation at the generator room? There were some slight hiccups, but we got it done. Copy that. Please press the switch. I'll be here to monitor the power. After a short wait. The lights came on. Power to the building is now gradually being restored. To prevent the control room in Tower B from affecting the power supply, I have isolated the power supply for Tower A. Let's meet up in front of the atrium and head to Tower B. 
Hopefully, we'll find more information about your friend once we arrive. The building's lights are coming back on, but it'll take some time. Oh, there's Mother Ball. Master Proxy, the nearby gate is now open. Rena and I will head over to you at once. Get the ball. Night vision mode is disabled due to a switch in the power supply. Bang Boo, go over there. What are you doing? Yeah, we got our ball. Hell yeah. Oh. Use the lights to stop these guys. Oh. Avoid them. We shouldn't get distracted now. Uh, more and more just coming. Lycon, has the power still not been restored? Thanks. Master Proxy, I apologize for my late arrival. Nice. Ellen, Corin, thank you for your hard work. That's oh, the passage to the atrium. They replaced Corin out of the group. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's charge. Poor Corin. Oh, my whole team is S ranks now. <clears throat> Thanks to our great guide that we could restore power so quickly. Our master will surely be grateful too. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Hm? Over there, what's that? Huh? That's... Hmm? Do you recognize this backpack? Yeah, that definitely belongs to Rain. So surely has been here. There might be some clues inside. this Where did that come from? Since we've been invited to dance, I suppose we should oblige. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Master Proxy, please find somewhere safe to hide. Allow us to take care of this aggressive guest. <laughs> With this power, uh, Here to serve you. The perfect fight. Fear comes from more than just the unknown. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Though the enemy's movement has become sluggish, it has an impressive stamina. Let's do our best, everyone. Take a break. Uh -huh. Ready and waiting. Thanks for your business. Time to end this. All right. How annoying. What a difficult guess. But there's twins, isn't there a second one? It appeared out of nowhere when the music started. Does that mean that Hey, Ethereal! Hmm? Over here! <laughs> Whoop! Uh, lucky there was a rift. It was attracted by the music. 
It seems someone is trying to use ethereals against us. Did Rain do this? No, she couldn't. Huh? Whoa! That's a bunch of missiles. <laughs> so there's people here besides us but who are they uh, thanks for that just now ellen are you okay she needs help it's nothing she's just asleep so fussy <sighs> It doesn't appear that they'll be waking up anytime soon. We should get them out of the hollow. Hmm. I'd be tired after taking out a bunch of missiles there like that and then kicking four people's asses. I'd also be sleepy. But this is getting weird and mysterious. What is going on here? Hmm. She's a little eepy. Good, you're back. Are you and Eos okay? No injuries? We're fine. Don't worry, we're fine. My apologies, Master. As I was still processing hollow data, I did not detect the approaching enemy's heat signals in time. It's not your fault, Fairy. Just keep processing. Thank you for trusting in me, Master. First an ethereal in the atrium. And then a bunch of unidentified armed individuals show up? I have a feeling they're connected. Looks like things with rain aren't that simple. I wonder what Victoria Housekeeping thinks about all this. We only told them we were looking for our friend. So, what do we do now? Hmm. The attackers we captured might know where rain is. We'll have to question them when they wake up. Yeah. I mean, they were heavily armed, occupying a building inside a hollow. They must have been there for a reason. I want to go check on Ellen, too. If she hadn't acted in time, Eos and I would have been in serious danger. You're right. We should definitely thank her. Well, Ellen seems to really like candy, and we did just buy a bunch. How about we give her some? It's not a very expensive gift, but it'll at least show our appreciation. Candy. Hmm. Okay. What you call sleeping on the job? Where are we? Oh. Where's Ellen? Oh. What are we doing? <laughs> Hmm. Wonder kind of interrogation tactics these two use against this guy. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything, please. Just don't come any closer. <laughs> Congratulations, dear guest, on finally making up your mind. If you'd come to this realization earlier, it would have saved us both a lot of effort. Is it, uh, did I come in at a bad time? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, dear guide, you're here. Please don't mind us. Our guest just woke up and wanted to leave without permission. So we asked him to stay for a while. Sir Soldier, as a member of a rebel army, you should be well aware of the consequences if we turn you over to public security. If you tell us the truth as to why you are at the Ballet Twins, we may just let you go. <sighs> All right, then. Well, our unit sponsor commissioned us to do something on the roof of the Tower B of the Ballet Twins. Be more specific, please. I, I'm just a grunt. I don't know the specifics. A few of us were <laughs> tasked with guarding the perimeter. If we found someone had entered the Ballet Twins, we were to prevent them from getting too close to Tower B. So you're the ones who caused the blackout. Uh, yeah. At first, 
I thought you were all just explorers messing around, and I could just scare you into staying away. I didn't expect you'd get the power back on so quickly. Our squad leader said, with your kind of power, you're definitely not ordinary people. You're probably here to save that girl, so we lured that weird ethereal. Wait, that girl? Where's Rain? What did you do to her? That little... Uh, girl... is with our squad leader on the roof of Tower B. She isn't in any danger. I take it you're admitting to kidnapping Miss Rain. Rina, keep pressing him for details. Master Proxy, may we talk in private? Pressing him? With what? Hello? <laughs> Bro, you are lucky. <laughs> Oh no! Dear soldier, the night is still long, so we have enough time for a nice chat. Please don't hold back. Oh, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll everything. Since the soldier's been... is being very accommodating, ask whatever you like. I'll let you go. Did you kidnap Rain? The captain handled this better personally. I'm not sure what exactly happened. Maybe rebels, but we follow hierarchy, so I don't know much. Ugh, I don't think I'll be able to go back now that they've captured me. Hmm, I think being able to escape that dangerous organization is a blessing for you. Chat, Rena has you in a corner. What do you do? <laughs> a. Try to run. B. Fight. C. Submit. Look up. <laughs> Is Rena just- oh. Hello. She's just sleeping. About just now. Remember to record overtime. Oh, won't even let me talk to Corin. Let me talk to Corin! Let me talk to Ellen. She said so- oh shit! Lumiere? Oh yeah, a French person on here? It breaks my heart to think about the artwork racing our way together. We say ballet twins, a bamboo crossing, the river of dreams, the star dancer in a hollow. I just want to rush into the hollow and up them all. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, another chest. Nice. Is there anything else around here? Nope. I'm sure someone with your intellect knows what I want to ask next. You want to know who Rain really is? Precisely. <laughs> Rebels have occupied the Ballet Twins, and Rain seems to be quite important to them. If you are reluctant to share information openly with us, it's likely to impact our next move. Next move? Does that mean you're still willing to work with us instead of leaving things to public security? I'm sure you understand our employer is quite well known in New Eridu. As representatives of our employer, if we depend on public security for a simple task like property maintenance, Victoria Housekeeping cannot allow such idle gossip to arise, tarnishing our master's reputation. And since we've confirmed Miss Rain has been kidnapped, Victoria Housekeeping cannot stand by and watch criminals use our master's property for such misdeeds. So, in other words, we share the same goal. As I said before, if you wish to work with us, I hope you'll be honest with us. Thanks, Lycon. I get what you mean. We wanted to keep Rain secret, but now is not the time for hiding things. Rain is actually a hacker. If you'd chosen to seek help from public security, we'd have been in real trouble. I see. If Miss Rain is a hacker, then they must have kidnapped her because they knew of her abilities. And the Ballet Twins' rooftop is the perfect location to transmit messages. Hang on one second, chat. This weird email. I just need to make sure it's not a phishing attempt, because it sounds like it is. Yeah, it seems kind of sus. Usually my insurance will let me know when I need to reply back. Never mind. Okay. Those thugs are still guarding the building, which means their mission is still ongoing. We need to save Rain as soon as possible. Otherwise, 
Who knows what might happen? Victoria Housekeeping is of the same mind. I'll make preparations for the rescue. Please wait for further contact. We have the server museum. I think that's what it's for, yeah. You post any weird things in there. <clears throat> right, the collaboration is secure. Master Proxy, it's you! Corrin, are you injured? Thanks for asking, I'm fine, thanks to Ellen. So you're probably here to see Ellen, right? Try not to worry too much, she'll wake up soon. Wonder she doesn't seem motivated. Yeah, that's definitely one of the reasons, but I think Ellen naturally struggles with motivation. You placed the candy you brought next to Ellen, and just then... Whoa! <laughs> oh, you're awake, Ellen. How do you feel, Ellen? I'm alright, just a bit sleepy, and that's all. You know what? This task is annoyingly complicated, but Boss didn't say anything about it. I'm definitely asking for overtime pay once we're done here. Hmm? Why are there candies here? You brought them for me, right, Corrin? Oh no, actually, the proxy brought these candies just for you. Thank you for saving my skin. Leaving your skin? Oh, you mean those rocket launcher mobs in the atrium? I just thought if I didn't take them out, things would get even messier. Not a big deal, really. By the way, I like the candies you brought. You got good taste in snacks, so I'll gladly accept them. You should have some candies too, especially if you're feeling down. Looks like you've got something on your mind. Explain Rain's situation to her. So your friend got nabbed by those militants? Sounds like the operation will be a long one. Well, as long as not too exhausting. Nah, forget it. Count me in if it's for you. Do my best too, Master Proxy. Now that I know Ellen is okay, I should head back and get ready for the operation. Oh, okay. Good. Why can't you just let me fast travel back with the map button game? Will you make me walk back to my car? What is this? I hit the pylon too? What the fuck? What is going on here? Sorry guys, one second. What the fuck is this? My car insurance wants to get renewed and it just seems weird. <laughs> I was like, who is this? You're back, Corrin just sent me a message. Victoria Housekeeping is ready to go. We're likely to clash with those rebels once we enter Battle Ages. So we best be on our toes. So many unanswered mysteries. Yeah, I had the same feeling. So we'll have to figure things out as we go. Anyway, let's think about what we need and prepare well. All right, let's head out. Huh? Someone that said they renewed my insurance last year sent me a text saying, Hey, I renewed your insurance last year. You want to work with us again? Just let me know. Send me an email. So I'm looking at it. And I had a DM from them before, so I didn't think about it. Then I got an email from them, and I'm always suspicious of anyone's email that ends with at gmail.com when it comes from a business, because I expect your business to have your own domain. And so I'm like, who are you? Then I look them up, and they're in a place I've never gone before. So I look again, I'm like, who is this? And they said they helped me at the dealer last year to renew my insurance, which I do remember doing that. So I'm just like, what? So I'm the, I don't know. It's bizarre. It doesn't matter to me, as long as my insurance is covered and paid, because my insurance is pretty cheap for my car, because I have... 22 years of good driving. <laughs> so I'm a good driver. I'm going to go take a piss, though. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Ugh. Undeletable malicious plugins detected? The software version is too old. Please go to the official website and sell the newest enhanced version. Try to delete something negative. You can call your parents, but it won't help. What was that? Huh? Okay. Why are you scattering again? Very disses me if I'm AFK? Oh, really? <laughs> That's crazy. Master Proxy, Rena and I have been monitoring several of the building's exits. The rebels are still on guard and show no signs of leaving. Looks like they still need to use the rooftop to complete their mission. Indeed. 
With the perimeter guards now out of contact, they've undoubtedly heightened their defenses. I'm afraid this operation is likely to involve a direct confrontation. We'll need to break through the enemy's defenses as quickly as possible to save Miss Rain. <laughs> I'll lead the way. Master, I have good news. I have finished decoding the building's hollow data and can now detect heat signals in real time. I've been waiting to hear you say that, Barry. Good work. Protect the proxy, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> <out. laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Master, I have located the nearest biothermal signal. They're gods. You might know something about rain. Let's beat his ass in. Oh, hello, ghosty friend. We need some help. There are quite a few little ones blocking the way in Tower B. There's a lot of them here, holy moly. Okay. Sheesh. Oh, it's my guy. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Uh, okay. Lights are on. Can't get through. Master, I have found a torn newspaper on the ground. In many of your favorite video games, using items is a common way of collecting secret clues. Okay, <laughs> an exclusive performance from the genius twin marionettes inside the ballet twins. The lights, the sounds, the grand stage, an utterly unique viewing experience. There's a tiny little stash, there's a tiny line stashed away in a barely noticeable corner of the pamphlet. In the event of any emergency during the performance, the Ballet Twins will ensure your personal safety to the greatest extent possible. No, they didn't. Sure did not seem like that. There's one ball over there. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! The wall here looks fragile. Let me break it. Holy. Thanks, Corin. The talented marionette sisters are about to stage a special dance performance at the Ballet Twins. However, a series of mysterious incidents have been plaguing the towers. Multiple guests have reported hearing noises coming from empty rooms late at night. Moreover, the dance costumes that the marionette sisters had stored in the lobby of Tower B were stolen. Fortunately, the costumes were later found on the rooftop of Tower B. However, surveillance footage from the building failed to capture any suspects. The writing on the back is severely stained and illegible. Hmm. Watch out, everyone. The enemies are up ahead. game confuses me because it acts like it we weren't a bang boo half the time and some characters don't know we remote into it <laughs> oh my god it's dad hello dad huh? i think i heard something it's those people from the atrium it's those people oh, from the atrium let's get going team gentlemen Please give up fighting and surrender. Oh, 
you're not a furry, but that's what they all say. I want to keep left click pressed. What if I don't? What if, What are you going to do then? What will happen, Semplex, if I don't listen to you? <laughs> Get ready. Time to change shift. Here to assist. Clear out. I'll be sad. Uh oh. <laughs> You're gonna be more than sad in this stream. I found you, Travison. How annoying. Get blessed! At your service. Whoa! Kind of loud again. Alright. Hold left click, you said? Now what? I hold left click. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh no, the equipment. Forget about it. Retreat. Then hold it again. So oh, click. <laughs> Even so soon, dear guests. Uh oh. Time for a nap. <laughs> nap time. Nap time. Mr. Lycon? We've done a full sweep, but there's no sign of Miss Rain. Looks like these are just the henchmen. The hostage must be with their leader. Lycon, what's this device they had on them? Looks like some kind of transmitter? You are correct. This is a military issue G03 He's look, holding the bang boo in his arm. <laughs> it's quite powerful. Along with the right multimedia devices, it could even aid intelligence operatives in hacking into high-level security systems. Wow, I'm surprised you know about this sort of thing. What kind of work do you usually do? I apologize if that surprises you. For housekeepers such as us, this is simply common knowledge. Uh, really? Well, at least now we can confirm they kidnapped Rain for her hacking abilities. Hey, I found this with all the enemy's crap. Wait a sec. Isn't that the airship the court uses? Timetables, uh -oh. route maps. They even have hardware diagrams of the integrated control system. Uh oh. Master, there was an incoming call from Billy. Allow me to connect you. Hey, manager, is that you? We've got trouble. Things just went down big time on the airship. Wow. Calm down, Billy. The Tell one time he can't breathe. <laughs> okay. So. Like 10 minutes ago, Perlman said he needed to check his suit, and the guards okayed it. But the moment he opened his suitcase, smoke exploded everywhere! Then everyone on the ship passed out, including the pilot! I was saved by my air intake malfunction. What? So who's flying the ship right now? It's in autopilot mode. It won't be crashing for now. But manager, I noticed something. Its scheduled route has been changed! It's flying straight toward the hollow where the Bell-A twins are! Won't be long now until we plunge straight in! What do I do, manager? Should I report it? Will they even believe me? Based on what Mr. Billy said, the airship route was changed a while ago, but nobody on the outside has heard about it. Looks like this is Rain's handiwork. She not only took control of the airship, but she must have also faked the signal to make everyone think it's still on the correct course. Hang on, what are you guys talking about? What's Rain got to do with this? Long story short, Mr. Billy, Miss Rain was abducted by a group of rebels, and they used her to control your airship. What? Wait, if it really was Rain, I don't think Pubsick can handle it. Oh, no, is this the end? Hmm. There's still something we can do, Billy. The proxy is right. Victoria Housekeeping is currently with the proxy and the ballet twins attempting to save Miss Rain. 
If we can save her in time, we may still be able to change the airship's final destination. Seriously? Lycon? Manager? Do you really think so? Don't worry, we'll save the airship. Stay in contact, though. We might still need your help. Got it! Master, I have calculated the airship's flight trajectory. The airship will pass 15 meters above the Ballet Twins in 25 minutes, before making contact with the Hollow less than 30 seconds thereafter. Let's hurry, everyone. Uh-oh. I was like, ha, huh, how silly Billy's Aaron take malfunction during a time like this. That's so silly. Turns out it's a huge plot device. <laughs> There's a key next to the enemy. Whoops. I've detected a fissure to the upper level behind that door. Hey, let me let me go. Target. Grab the ball. Whoa, hang on. Something else up here? <gasps> Good Billy. Cheap stuff did save his life. Whoop. Oh, another key. We got to a new area. Let's keep going. Hmm. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Not them again. Oh, there's two of them this time. Access to the circuit system of the new area established. Elevator leading to the rooftop area detected. It appears we can use the elevator to close in on the enemy. Great idea. Let's circle around and ambush them. Master, I have found a toy. It may provide you with... The Bowery Brothers insists the mysterious incidents around the building are nothing more than industrial sabotage by business rivals, insisting that these events won't delay or cancel the upcoming dance. Reports claim that the owners of the Ballet Twins, the Ballet Brothers, are currently facing significant financial strife. The two have poured money into the event and invited celebrities from various fields. This lavish event may be their last chance to attract new business partners and escape their financial woes. The text on the back is severely stained and illegible. Hmm, I see. Alright, where's our buddy? There he is. Ah. Any more of these guys do I need around here? Nope. <clears throat> Ow. Hmm. I wish the valves would just open if I have enough coins rather than like jumping into that menu. Oh. What keys do I have here? During the intermission, I ran outside the green room to listen in, and they seemed to be arguing, and I could hear an old man's voice saying, Stop the show! You punks have to be joking! Just think about what day it is today and who came to see our show. Who come to see your show. And think about yourselves again. You've already won praise and glory. Next, I promise you all your freedom. That's enough. Shut up. No more sensationalist stuff. You've signed a contract. What is going on here, guys? Hmm... Hello, Baku Paku. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. This door need <clears throat> Master, you can Whoops. What's going on with this place here? Oh God, the ghosts! Step lightly, everyone. We wouldn't want to alert those militants. You like how he stomps the ground, chat? With this power. He 
stomps the ground and all the ice shows up. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Woo! Take a break. Hear that? I'll bite your throat out. What? You hear that, chat? He's gonna bite your throat out. Yes, master. He'll bite your throat out, but he said, I'll bite your throat out. Woof. Bark. I have located a hollow exit that leads to the rooftop. Oh. Nearby thermal signal detected. Biometric signature matched. Rain. We found rain, but there's enemies everywhere. Let's approach the target with caution. Uh, why'd the lights go out? What's up with the lights today? Is this place haunted or something? Got him. And you will say thank you? <laughs> hmm. Here's again. The enemies haven't noticed Chat. Yet. Light they cone cosplay? Seen. Yes. Alert. There is one. You gotta help me buy it then, chat. These are expensive. I'll do it if you help me buy it, though. Subathon goal? I don't even know when our next subathon or donathon is gonna be. What's a good time for everybody? What do you think? Wouldn't be a good weekend for everyone to go for it. I think like toward end of August may be a good time. I might have time around then the after payday. The <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> of course. There's also something happening in September I could combine it with, maybe? Wait, is anyone still going to school after this summer break? Guys, big. School by clinicals? Ah. Die. Die. <laughs> so bring ends tomorrow. We'll have probably more for team. This job sucks. We're going to college next month? Huge. Don't get in my way. Uh oh. Wait, Captain. 
Didn't the employer ask us to bring her back and find out how much she leaked? <sighs> they're already on to us. We won't get away if we're stuck carrying dead weight. We were paid to do a job. We completed our primary task. There's no point in putting our lives on the line. We'll just say she didn't survive the ether corruption. <coughs> Sorry, but it's your own fault for knowing too much. is the only one that looks concerned. Leave the hostage. Everyone, retreat! Should we pursue, Sir Lycon? No. Saving Miss Rain and the airship is more important. Rain? Rain? Are you okay? Don't worry, you're safe. We're friends of Nicole. We're here to save you. You're... You're really here to save me? Quick, get to the rooftop. We're running out of time. The court's airship is about to... What was that? It came from above. I'm afraid this won't be easy. Reporting in, Captain. The timed explosives have detonated as planned. Hollow structural changes have been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. Copy that. <laughs> they took the hostage back, but they can't save the airship now. Master, a significant change to the upper floors of the building has been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. Those thugs did it. No wonder they abandoned the hostage. They were prepared for this. Barry, search for another path to the rooftop immediately. Master, I have located a hollow exit leading to the rooftop of the building. The exit is located near Ballet Twins Tower B. Estimated travel time, seven minutes. As we have to traverse high corruption areas along the way, possibly encountering dangerous ethereals, I cannot calculate the precise time needed. Don't worry, Master Proxy. Ethereals won't stop Victoria housekeeping. I know you must be physically and mentally exhausted, Miss Rain. But we're counting on you to deal with the airship. If all we need is to break control over the airship, I can disable the jamming equipment as soon as we reach the rooftop. But I heard them say to ensure the plan went smoothly, everyone on board was knocked out. Is there anyone left to steer it out of the hollow? Yeah. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Billy is still awake, but he doesn't know how to drive it. Rain being able to free the airship is already sufficient. Please leave the rest to Victoria Housekeeping. According to our intel, the airship should fly a short distance above the Ballet Twins. Since the airship lacks a pilot, I shall be the replacement. The original exit has been destroyed. They really didn't hold back. Luckily, Master Proxy has found us another way out. Hmm. So many ethereals on the way to Tower B. Is it really okay? Please, leave them to us. We'll be counting on you then. All right. Now that I've recharged, it's time I get serious. Use all the tools available to you. What is that? Increasing visibility will help us see the enemy earlier. So look, where's my ball? There's the ball. Okay, the ball is on the way. <laughs> okay. Silly puzzle. Your prowess is indeed impressive, Master Proxy. Holy shit, that was close. Woo! Oh. 
Nice. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're really something else, Max. Wow. I did it. I'm so good at this, chat. The Tower B lobby is right ahead. Some more lore? What we got? Master. <sighs> if my speculation is correct, the lobby of Tower B must be near a spatial fissure connecting to the rooftop. Whether it's weird noises or disappearing costumes, all signs point to a hollow disaster happening in the Ballet Twins. To ensure the charity performance could be held according to schedule, the Ballet Brothers inexplicably took a desperate risk and decided to hush up everything. I just can't believe that two such good people just vanished here for good and ended up being seen as symbol of hate in urban legends. Even though their souls linger on here, I trust that they'll be as elegant and beautiful as ever. Writing on the back is really stained and illegible. Oh, they're just dead? Or gone or something? Hmm. Prepare to break through. Right. Today is Sunday, yes. Wait. Something isn't right. The music? Isn't it the same as before? It's the ethereal from the atrium. It seems our guests haven't had enough fun yet. The twins! There's two of them. Is the story actually true? We're running out of time. Rest assured, Master Proxy. For Victoria housekeeping, it's plenty of time. Your wish is our command. <gasps> Let's go. Hey, Sky. They do have the style of dancers. But now isn't the time to admire their moves. Thank you for your patience. Voila. Keep their activity increased. Getting cranky. Watch out. You should watch out for that move. I see. Okay. That's how you work, huh? Leave it to me. Oops. Take this. Move it. We go. Don't be scared. Cleanup's not finished. Yeah. This one frenzied ethereal. Watch out. Woo. Ow. Get ready. Ready and ready. Look at me! <laughs> How annoying! Get blessed! Warning. The airship is almost here. Stay focused. The enemies are looking tired already. <laughs> Get back! <laughs> Those parries are so good! Got one of them. Here we go. Don't look at me. They did it. They left. 
Our mission continues. Onward. What's a revive mechanic boss? I see. It's one of those fights. Can you hear me, Bell? The airship is almost there. It's the manager. Manager, I'm over here! Billy! Warning, the airship will reach the target location in 20 seconds. <laughs> Seconds remaining. Hurry up. We're not gonna make it. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> After a short while on the landing pad atop the ballet swing. Here we go! This is it! Good work. We got everyone out. Your Honor, I... I object. How are they doing? Don't worry. It was a strong anesthetic. But they'll wake up in an hour or two. We owe you big time, Lycon. Ah, oh, you're too kind. We are honored to have worked with you, Master Proxy. It is thanks to your assistance we were able to safeguard our Master's honor. Word from public security is that the rescue squad and Air Force are on the way! Billy, we can't let Rain get taken in by public security. Her identity as a hacker is unique, and she hacked into the airship while under duress. We'll take her into the hollow and make our exit from there first. You know how to deal with PubSec when they get here, right? I didn't inhale the gas, so I piloted the airship here for an emergency landing upon discovering what had happened. Oh, right. Speaking of which, after all that's happened, can we still hold the vision trial? Public security will likely take Perlman back and then reopen the trial. I'll leave this to you then, Billy. We'll get going. Take care, guys. <gasps> He's awake. Thanks. Punishing evil and upholding justice is the mission of the cutting hairs. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what Nicole's face is going to look like when she wakes up and finds out what happened today. Hmm? What's that sound? Ah! Perlman! Oh, what the heck? Uh, weren't expecting me to wake up so soon, were you? Those bastards. They pretended to agree to my demands, but they wanted me dead from the start. If I get taken back to public security, I doubt I'll even make it through the night. The way things are, I better get the heck out of New Era, do pronto. <laughs> what a slippery little man! Literally, he's little. Oh well. Oh. Some days later. Morning. You remember what day it is, right? Of course. We agreed to meet Rain today. Rain sure is impressive. She only had it for a few days and she's already cracked it. I wonder how she's been spoiled by the lately. newspaper. <laughs> After getting out of the ballet twins, she stayed in a Victoria housekeeping safe house for fear of those militants. Let's ask how she's doing later. Let's remember to ask how she's doing when we meet up later. We're finally getting somewhere with the memory unit. But Perlman escaped on the airship, and the Vision Corporation trial had to be postponed. <laughs> also, today I saw an internaut that the would-be buyer of the Ballet Twins gave up on the deal and paid a penalty fee. Hmm. You think it's for fear of those two weird ethereals? Or because the building almost had an airship driven into it? Well, all that aside, let's meet up with Rain first. Kaleida and Grace will be coming later, too. Grace! 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 <laughs> Grace! Oh my god, it's Grace. Where is she? The cat, what up? Why is the cat named Chalky? Good morning, managers. You're five minutes early. 
You look like you're doing better, Rain. I've been laying low these days, but Victoria Housekeeping has been taking care of me. I'll be back to my normal life soon. Thank you both for saving me. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Don't say that. It's thanks to you we saved the airship. But we didn't get the chance to ask. How did you get mixed up in all this anyway? Well, since it's you asking, I guess I don't have any reason to hide anything. A while ago, I was contacted by an unfamiliar client who refused to disclose the specifics of a job, but who was paying very well. I pressed them for details, and they said we could meet. Yeah, I thought it was suspicious, but I was swayed by the money. I get it. But it's really impressive. You were able to secretly send a distress signal from atop the ballet twins while under their control. Considering how it all turned out, it's a good thing it was discovered. Their employer wanted to know what I leaked. That's the only reason they kept me alive. So, who is their employer? I'm not sure. They never showed up. I only got a phone call telling me about the airship. But I did overhear something. Their main reason for attacking the airship was to get rid of Perlman. They also mentioned some sacrifice? Sacrifice? What's that? Sorry, that's all I know. Oh yeah, I've got your thing here. It's all good. Thanks. This is a big help. Don't mention it. I'm just returning the favor, so I'm not charging this time. You're gonna investigate the memory unit next, right? Guess I'll leave you to it then. I'm sure next time I see you, it'll be as a customer at the video store. You're welcome as a friend too, of course. Random Play will always have movie recommendations for you. The Beetle well, Gang? Who's the Beetle Ellie Gang? The other should be arriving soon. We should be getting back. Who ascends with the Kabuto? The Beetle Gang. Whom's the Beetle Gang? Beetle, Hazel, Sino, and Rio? Probably not. <laughs> oh my god, it's Grace! Hi, it's been a while. Kaleida, Grace, you're here. Quick, come in. We retrieved a decrypted memory unit. So, I hear you tried to find someone who could crack the memory unit and get dragged into another major incident. I'm guessing Nicole told you? It was a pretty close call this time. Several of the cunning hairs almost didn't make it. Anyway, at least everyone's safe now. It feels like the city's been on edge lately, but maybe it's because I'm always thinking about that monster. I wanted to decrypt the data on that memory unit as soon as possible. But now I'm a little nervous to find out what's on it. Don't worry, Sweet Pea. Whatever we find on it, we'll face it together. Yeah, Grace is right. Okay, Barry, you're up. Analyze the data on the memory unit. Yes, Master. Analyzing memory unit data. Oof. Master, a fragment of audio data has been detected. Its last recorded system time is the day before the fall of the old capital. Ooh. Audio data? Barry, can you play the audio? Affirmative. In that case, do the honors. Loading audio. Please wait. <laughs> that was him farting. <laughs> Underestimated. Uh, Just ripping it in there. Old man. Sounds like he's hurt. Calm down, sweet pea. This recording was years ago. Oh, horse is talking to someone. I told you. Pretend you know nothing. And we'd all be fine. <laughs> I'm a father. <laughs> How could I let something that threatens my daughter's life go free? Dad, you idiot. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jess. What is it? <laughs> okay. Consider it your last wish. It's called a sacrifice. What did he say? S sacrifice? Wise. Did he just it's say sacrifice? It's very messed up, it is. 
<laughs> What's up with you two, Faithen? That name. We've heard it once today already. A reliable source informed us that the reason someone was going after the court's airship was to do away with Pearlman. And those same people mentioned the word sacrifice. What? Wait. So Pearlman is somehow related to what we're investigating? Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaleda. But Pearlman hasn't been heard from since he stole the airship. He's probably already run off to the Outer Ring, right? All right. We'll just have to find out what's going on over there then. <sighs> I never expected to be investigating the same matter as our guide. Sir Lycon, they know about the sacrifice. Is it okay to let them continue their investigation? It's no issue. Master has had a change of plan and given us new instructions. Provide them assistance or guidance as needed. They're too involved to keep them out. But perhaps they can become our allies. Inspect the prototype memory unit with Kaleida and Grace to verify that no useful information remains on it. After that, you discuss your many doubts about the vision case and events from many years ago. Three night time after sending them off. Lady and Grace have left already, Bell. Today has been quite a shock for all of us. We all need some good rest. We should start considering our next move, too. Let's start by recapping the info we gathered today. It turns out, of course, we really was murdered, and it's possible that he deliberately tricked the culprit into spilling the monster's name. Now we know the monster's name, and it seems the person who tried to off Perlman is somehow mixed up in all of this. We can't say for sure, but I bet Perlman knows the culprit behind all this. It's a tricky situation. We don't have many connections in the Outer Ring, and PubSec has no jurisdiction there. But I've heard there are a lot of Outer Ring traders smuggling goods in the cities through the hollows every day. Well, I'll reach out to Shepard and see if we can hook us up with some jobs in the Outer Ring. Maybe we'll stumble upon something useful. Let's give it a shot. Just leave it to me. You've been working hard lately, Bell. Go to bed early and get a good night's sleep. Horse! And we're done chapter three. Wow. Time for the cliffhanger to kick in. Yeah. So that's where we're at right now. Is that where we're stuck on? No chapter four yet. It had it do be getting a lot more interesting. That's for sure. Wow. Oh, I was hoping I could pull for more Ben. But I can't. Hmm. Okay. Well, that did take about two hours, like you guys said. So that's good. Oh, surprisingly, probably the case. I was quite a buzz on the internet. Sorry. I was yawning. Ask about the outer ring. The outer ring. Sacrifice. What exactly is it? Looks like all our important matters have come to an end. It's over for now. You look like you still got unfinished business to do. No worry, proxy business is going to end here. Really? Well, as long as you keep upgrading your internet level, you'll land a stack of new jobs. And if we cozy up to some of the other agents in the industry, they might just be able to recommend some more jobs for us. Not to mention all the exciting stuff that's going on in the city. Street side events, you can go search all of those out. Got it. And we'll keep working hard for each other. Hooray! Lycon agent story arena. Oh, love crazed girl. What do you want, girl? What does she want? Real life love stories. All right. Uh, this is a romance, sure. The old civilization sounds like a real story. Wonderful. Although the only things here in there for the adaption. Blah 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 blah. All right, we did it. Good job. All right, yeah. Then, like you guys said, chapter four. What the? Oh. Why did everything like open up all of a sudden? Oh yeah, there's DMs. There's so many new DMs. Where's Grace?
Where did I do not get grace? Oh, I get the twin marionettes now as a boss? Okay, cool. Now it's just a bunch of side quests. I have to do her story. Oh, right, okay. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave it there for now, chat. I got this done. That's what I needed to do. So now I can get some stuff done offline if I need to. I'll keep like the main quest on stream for sure, though. And also the Abyss boss. Unless there's like story quests you want me to do on stream, I can save for it. Like maybe next time we come on, we can do the Grace story here. I can just take care of the side quests. Have I finished the events? Not yet, but I'm a little tired. So I'm going to hop off for now and maybe finish it later tonight. Maybe I might hop on tonight again, too, because I have tomorrow off from work anyway. So I could do that. Yeah, I'm a little sleepy. I need to get outside. I've been inside all day. Oh, if I come back on, I'll come back on tonight. If not, I'll just do it on my own. Oh, oh God. Yeah. That was fun, though. Thanks for joining me again on this chat. Another little early stream today. Cool. Yes. Let's get out of the house. Let's go outside. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Going outside, no way. I don't think so. Oh. You just joined while well, I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go raid somebody. I see Cardi is doing another Cardi Cup. They're doing another Abyss Run tournament. So let's go hang out with Cardi. I haven't raided them in a while. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow, because I'll be on tomorrow. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe we'll do Imaginarium Theater tomorrow on Genshin. Okay. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow then.